Hello, and welcome to the ninth lesson of the language and the media scheme of work. Um, this is looking at analysing texts, taking a concept-led approach. Um, this is quite a, a good way of looking at texts, actually, because I tend to, to sort of t take you down a language-based approach where you look for language levels first and, and so on and so forth. It's not the only strategy you can use, and we're going to look sort of very kind of quickly at actually another way you can do it and sort of try and apply that to, to a couple of different texts. But the, the starter here just says here, who is a school website for? What is included on a school website to meet the needs of those different people? Um, effectively, I want you to work out what you, who you think the audience primarily is and sort of how their needs are met. I've put the Sackville School website on there, as you can see. Just said here, support says look at the tabs as a starting point. But obviously, just think what kind of... You may even want to go to the website itself and just have a bit of a click around. Like, who is the audience for a school website? Obviously, different parts have a different audience, of course. Uh, spend five, ten minutes doing that, uh, and then five seconds on the video. Okay, so I, I sort of talked about this right at the very start, but I, I said I take you down a path often of language levels uh, or language patterns first and then concepts and context, primarily because um, this task still requires some element of language patterns being identified. So I feel sometimes if you just think about it as an AO2 and an AO3 style question, you might not necessarily incorporate those language levels. However, there is a strategy which would uh, mean you look at it from a concept-led perspective. This is what this lesson is all about, where basically you identify the AO2 feature, the, 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 the theory, the representation, the thing you're going to talk about, before then um, finding the language patterns that fit what you're looking for. Um, I wouldn't say it was necessarily easier, but I do feel for some of you that this might be a strategy that will work better. Um, I've put here, for example, so if you see how it works, so the language they one would be, you do, for example, you find um, a pronoun um, or pronouns being used, like the word you. Um, now, we know that that's a type of synthetic personalization, so that's my AO2, that's the thing that's the, the concept. And then it's about, you know, the AO3 is how it speaks directly to the reader, of course. All that happens when you do uh, concept-led is you'd start with the synthetic personalization. Because you'll read through and you'll think, okay, I, I, I've, I've identified that there is some synthetic personalization here. And then you'd look for examples of where it happens. Now, in this instance, I've used the pronouns you. You may find, though, other things as well that lead to synthetic personalization. Perhaps the use of the personal pronoun we might be another thing you look at. So it kind of broadens out your approach. You can kind of have a look for a few different things that perhaps build up to that. It doesn't change massively. It's just a different way of looking at a text. And you know, by the time you get to an end of a text, you sometimes have an idea of the kind of the representations that you've seen and the ideas that are shared. So it might be better to plan with that in mind than it is to find the language first. But again, it's completely up to you. So this is quite a short lesson in some ways because, it, again, it, it's more about applying these skills. Um, this is a head teacher's welcome from a school called Brentwood County High School. Um, I've tried to make the the, the uh, text as big as I can on the, on the worksheet. You can make it bigger if you need to. It is an image file, though, so you can't change the font, unfortunately. I'd like you just to complete the worksheet. So the worksheet has five different concepts that are, are explored. Um, as you can see, the, the first one's done for you. It gives you the language level or the terminology or the example, and then it has the AO3. Um, as you work your way down, you'll be given different things and just basically go back into the text and look for them. The example um, that they've given you is synthetic personalization. On the left-hand side, you can see it mentions things like the, the word welcome, the use of the noun phrase as a form of address Stephen Drew. So he is... You know, Stephen Drew is the person he is, therefore it kind of creates a sense that he is talking directly to you. The visual cue of himself, the actual picture, of course you wouldn't talk about the picture on its own, you talk about it as part of, you know, the, I guess, related to the noun phrase, he is the noun phrase, therefore here is his picture. And it says on the right, the audience of parents or potential parents, um, it, you know, it's informative, but also persuasive. Um, it's online, so obviously they're, they've positioned themselves as receivers, they've clicked on this link to look at this website, so therefore they are open to this kind of dialogue that the synthetic personalization kind of causes is, um, and so on and so forth. Um, the second one, as you can see, is representation of the school is inclusive. So what you then do is, how do they use language patterns to look at the inclusiveness of the school? Then why would they focus on the inclusiveness of the school? You may even want to, at this point, have a little bit of a look at where the school is set, where the school is based. Is there something about the, the potential catchment area, I guess, for the school that might lead to inclusion being a particularly uh, important thing to do? Um, as always, I mean, I say, say with this task, probably spend about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you've got five minutes on the video. So 
So the last task, I mean, not all head teachers' welcomes will be created the same, obviously, because they all have different needs and different approaches, and different um, kind of ways of getting people, I guess, to, to engage with what's going on. So the last task is basically to create um, a table very similar to the one you've already done. I would say looking maybe at five concepts, a bit like the last one did as well, um, without any guidance here. I'm not going to say to you this is the concept you should be looking for, um, based on the head teachers' welcome for Sackville School. So what you're looking for is you going to read through it, find five concepts so a lot of them will be representation based like what is the representation of this what is the representation of that any other things that are going on find the language levels on the left hand side of your table and then link to the context on the right hand side of your table um as i said the approaches for different head teachers will be different then their needs and uh, and sort of strategies for engaging with an audience will be different of course so it should be interesting to see if you can apply that sort of skill that you're looking at in the first instance to this new text without sort of like a starting point effectively you, know, you 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 do it off your own back and, and that's it that, that is the lesson it's as i said a lot of these are a bit more hands-on they're a bit more you know here is an approach here's how you do it uh, as always if you've got any problems let me know uh email me and just you know i can answer any questions uh stay safe be well and i'll talk to you soon